What's up, guys? Let me ask you something. Have you ever heard of the story of the time traveler from the year 2036? No? Well, then buckle up, because shit's about to get real weird. Welcome to Absurd Reality Case File 005, the story of John Teeter. For those of you that don't know, Absurd Reality is greatly influenced by a late-night radio show called Coast to Coast. Over the years, there's been some amazing and famous hosts such as George Murray and George Knapp. But the godfather who started the show was a man named Art Bell. Art Bell's show opened my eyes to all things weird, strange, and fun. If you're unfamiliar with Art Bell or the show Coast to Coast, I highly suggest you check it out when you get a chance. The reason I bring Art Bell and Coast to Coast up is because this story starts via a fax sent to Art's show by a person claiming to be a time traveler. Here's some recording of Art reading that fax. Dear Art, I had a fax when I heard other time travelers calling in from any time past the year 2500 A.D., Please let me explain. Time travel was invented in 2034. Offshoots of certain successful fusion reactor research allowed scientists at CERN to produce the world's first contained singularity engine. The basic design involves rotating singularities inside a magnetic field. By altering the speed and direction of rotation, you can travel both forward and backward in time. Time itself can be understood in terms of connected lines. When you go back in time, you travel on your original timeline. When you turn the singularity engine off, a new timeline is created due to the fact that you and your time machine are now there. In other words, a new universe is created. To get back to your original line, you must travel a split second farther back and immediately throw the engine into forward without turning it off. Some interesting outcomes of this are 1. You meet yourself. I have done it often, even taken a younger version of myself along for a few rides before returning myself to the new timeline and going back to mine. 2. You can alter history in the new universe that you have just created. Most of the time, the changes are subtle. Sometimes I'll notice car models that don't exist or books that come out late. The oldest one was a skyscraper that wasn't built in a near favorite store of mine in New York. Interestingly, when you travel in time, you must compensate for the orbit of the Earth. Since the time machine doesn't move, you have to adjust the engine so you remain on the planet when you turn it off. Unfortunately, it was also discovered that anyone going forward in time from my 2036 hit a brick wall in the year 2564. Everyone who has ever been there has reported, has reported that nothing exists. When the machine is turned off, you find yourself surrounded by blackness and silence. Shit's crazy, right? It gets even better. On November 2nd of 2000, the man we know as John Teeter started posting on the Coast to Coast message boards. Basically, Teeter explained that he was part of a militarized time travel unit, and his job was to go back from 2036 to 1975 to pick up an IBM 5100 computer and then bring it back to his timeline. The reason for his mission was due to his timeline being destroyed by Y2K, which led to an American Civil War, a mad cow-like disease within the meat industry, and a short world war that involved nuclear weapons. Teeter said that he was sent on a mission to pick up the IBM computer because it was capable of speaking, debugging, and decoding the APL and basic computer languages in tech of 2036. Essentially, the 5100 could help fix some of the technology in this timeline. Teeter said the reason he was chosen for the mission was because his grandfather worked at IBM in the 1970s, and it would be much easier to explain the situation at hand to a relative and prove who he was, as opposed to him trying to do that with a random person. Teeter said his mission was to go from 2036 to 1975 and back. However, he stopped in the year 2000 to warn his family of upcoming events and to make himself known to other time travelers who may be on the timeline by posting on these message boards. Here's the thing. Teeter gave as much information about his mission as he possibly could. To this day, the things that he's explained and the time travel machine has never been disproved. The IBM 5100 was extremely rare and never put into production. 
Not many people knew what he was talking about at the time of his postings, but years later, people came out of the woodwork and discussed what was going on. They said that the computer existed and that it was definitely capable of speaking those two computer languages. Moreover, Teeter also shed light on the science being conducted at CERN way before they went public with any of that information. A 2009 investigation concluded that Teeter was likely the creation of Larry Haven, a Florida entertainment lawyer, along with his brother Maury, a computer scientist and science fiction enthusiast. We don't know if the John Teeter story is true, or if it's some sort of elaborate hoax by Larry Haber or his brother, but we do know this story is cool as fuck, and that's why we wanted to share it with you. Alright guys, that's it for this case file. Please do me a favor and smash that like button, and subscribe to this channel for everything Absurd Reality. We are out!